Hey everyone, welcome to Brad's Gadgets. Today I've got the uh, Peterborough Lift Lock 21 right behind me, and it's uh, it's really something else. Let's go check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, gather round. Welcome to the engineering marvel that is LiftLock 21, the world famous Peterborough LiftLock. Today, I'll be taking you on a journey into the heart of this brilliant feat of human ingenuity built back in 1904. But first, let's get ready to be amazed by the inner workings of this gigantic water-driven wonder. Now folks, here's the setup. LiftLock 21 is located on the scenic Trent Canal, part of the Trent Severn Waterway in Ontario, Canada. It's a hydraulic lift lock, and yes, it's just what it sounds like. This structure lifts and lowers boats, but not like an ordinary lock. No, sir. There are no gates filling and emptying lock chambers here. This thing uses hydraulic pressure to literally lift entire boats up and down with water-filled tanks. So how does it work? Allow me to explain. At its core, the lift lock consists of two enormous water-filled chambers, or caissons, balanced on giant pistons. Imagine, if you will, two massive bathtubs on either side of a tall structure, each of these caissons capable of holding boats up to 140 feet long. These caissons are like huge elevators for boats, with one always going up as the other comes down. Here's the trick to the magic. Balance and gravity. Each of these caissons is mounted on top of a hydraulic piston. The chambers are connected through an underground pipe, allowing water to flow from one side to the other. When a boat enters the lower caisson, the operator adds a little extra water, about one foot's worth, into the upper caisson. This slight difference in weight makes the upper caisson just a bit heavier than the lower one. And here's where gravity does the work. The heavier caisson begins to descend, pushing down on its piston. This forces the lighter caisson to rise thanks to the hydraulic pressure in the pistons that push the opposite caisson upwards. The boats in each chamber are lifted and lowered as if they were in a giant seesaw. But wait, there's more! It takes just a small amount of water, about 33,000 gallons extra, added to the upper caisson to make the whole system work. Thanks to the design, no external power source is needed beyond the water and the weight of the boats themselves. The whole process is controlled by a clever valve system that regulates the flow of water between the caissons. When the boats are level with the canal, the caisson doors are opened and the vessels sail in or out, either 65 feet up or down, depending on their direction of travel. The entire lifting or lowering operation takes only about two minutes. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, in just two minutes, you'll be lifted or lowered 65 feet one of the highest hydraulic locks in the world. A marvel of efficiency and engineering, my friends. The Peterborough lift lock was designed by a brilliant engineer named Richard Birdsall Rogers. He knew that traditional locks were too slow for the growing river traffic, and boy did he come up with a solution. Rogers' vision was groundbreaking in its time, and today it stands as a lasting symbol of Canadian engineering know-how. So, to sum it all up, at LiftLock 21, boats are raised and lowered using the simple principle of hydraulics, powered by gravity and balanced with precision. Two caissons, two pistons, and a little extra water working together in perfect harmony to transport vessels up and down with ease. Peterborough LiftLock is 140 feet, 43 meters long, which refers to the length of each of the two caissons, the massive water-filled chambers that lift and lower boats. The lock can accommodate vessels up to that length, making it one of the largest hydraulic lift locks of its kind. Yes, the Peterborough lift lock can freeze during the winter months. Like most waterways in Ontario, the water in the Trent Severn waterway, including the lock system, can be affected by freezing temperatures. When the weather gets cold enough, ice can form on the surface of the water inside the caissons, and the lock itself is not operational during the winter season. To protect the structure and its mechanisms, the lock is typically drained or closed off, and the hydraulic systems are winterized to prevent any damage from freezing water, which could cause expansion and cracking. In fact, during the off-season, 
the lock is often covered in snow and ice, creating a scenic but non-functional winter landscape. It usually reopens in the late spring or early summer, when the waterways thaw and boating season begins again. Each caisson of the Peterborough lift lock is 7.6 feet, 2.3 meters deep. This depth is sufficient to allow vessels to float in and be safely lifted or lowered as the lock operates. In terms of the overall height difference that the lock overcomes, the lift is 65 feet, 19.8 meters, making it one of the tallest hydraulic lift locks in the world. However, the depth of the water in the caissons themselves remains consistent at 7.6 feet, which is enough to accommodate most recreational vessels. As for the cost of construction, the Peterborough lift lock was completed in 1904 at a cost of approximately $560,000. Adjusted for inflation, that would be equivalent to tens of millions of dollars in today's currency. This significant investment was due to the advanced engineering and materials required, as it was the largest unreinforced concrete structure in the world at the time of its construction. Thank you folks for joining me today. The Peterborough lift lock remains an enduring testament to human innovation, and I hope you've enjoyed this look at how it all works. Be sure to visit this towering marvel in action on your next trip to Ontario. Until then, keep sailing smoothly on life's great adventure. Hopefully you found this video informative and uh, go ahead and just, you know, tickle that like button that likes it when you do that. Especially counterclockwise. Oh yeah, that's a ticket. That's a spot. All right, so if you didn't like the video, hit that thumbs down button twice. I'll learn my lesson. I'll make a better video next time. If you like my content, hey, you're gonna subscribe anyways. And as always, well, we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching, everybody.